In this section, we will look at AutoCAD for the very first time. So we've just installed it, and now you need to turn it on. If you've never turned it on before, that's okay. If you've cheated and you've already peaked, that's fine too. I don't have a problem with that, of course. If you've used AutoCAD once or twice, then you might not need to go through this section at all, and that's okay. If you haven't installed the software yet, please refer to the video that we discuss that process in. Unless, of course, you're feeling brave enough and you've installed it on your own or you just wanted to jump right in. Either way, that's fine. Installation does take a while, so be prepared to wait. Now let's assume AutoCAD has been installed and you're ready to turn it on for the very first time. So if you have a desktop icon, just click on it and that will launch the software. Now it's the very first time I'm launching the software, so we're going to get a few little prompts here and there on some things. If you've installed an AutoCAD version on your computer before and you've worked in it, you've customized the setting, and now this is a new version, you're going to get an option to migrate all of those custom settings over. I'm assuming since this is a beginners-based video series that that's not the case for you, so we're really not going to get into that. I suggest, though, if that does happen, that you just ignore it. You just hit cancel. You can always migrate your settings over later on. So this first initial setup might take it a few minutes as it's loading some customized files for the first time, making sure everything is set up. So just be prepared. Splash screen is going to come up like it is right now, and this is very typical. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to use a term out of the box. And when I say something is out of the box, I'm referring to the default settings of AutoCAD. So just keep that in mind. Now, you're going to have some options here when you turn it on. This is a privacy agreement. And this just lets you know that you've read it. You click on the link here. This will open up a browser and it will show you those privacy settings. Essentially, they're telling you what type of information they will and will not be collecting on you in your use. And there are some things that you can opt in for so that Autodesk will collect what type of commands you're using and how often. So I suggest that you read through this so that you understand what's going on. So click this box here, it says yes, I agree and continue on with the initial setup. Now, if you have a 30-day trial that you're using, it's essentially going to just take you right into it. But if you have entered in your product licensing code, you're going to have to activate your product. So when this happens, you'll get to this page right here, and you can just try it for a 30-day period, and you'll get this information right here. It'll tell you how many days that you have left on your trial run. So every time you start AutoCAD, this will show up and it will tell you, hey, you have 29 days left, 28 days left, whatever the case may be. I'm going to activate my product so that I can use it fully, but your process will go about the same way. If your serial number that you've entered in is not correct, it will tell you right away. And if that's the case, if you have some problems with it, you can always go and use the 30-day trial and then figure those issues out later on. So once you've activated your Autodesk license or you've just clicked the Try It button for the 30 days, you'll go on through the next step. So if you're running AutoCAD under a trial period like I'm demonstrating here now, it will tell you every time you turn it on and it will indicate the number of days. Now whenever you want to go to and activate it, you just click the Activate button and that'll bring you right there. I'm going to make a few adjustments to my screen here for AutoCAD so you can see all of it and then we'll continue on. So now we are in AutoCAD. When you first start AutoCAD for the very first time, you'll have this new tab option that comes up. I'm going to start off and open up a blank file template. I'm going to click on the templates button and click on AutoCAD.DWT. Now this will start a brand new file and it's blank. I'm going to close this design feed box here and whenever you first turn AutoCAD on, you're going to get a bunch of pop-ups giving you information about your setup. This is telling me my hardware acceleration is turned on and functioning, and that's great. And you'll get other pop-ups here. This is telling me that I really should sign into Autodesk 360, and right now I'm not going to. I just want to show you what AutoCAD looks like. So let's take a look around the interface so that you can familiarize yourself with what it looks like, what these areas do, and the terms that will be used for them. That way when I mention what they are, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this big open area right here with this grid work on it, this is called the drawing area. This is where you're going to draw your objects. Everything's going to be right here. This is your actual drawing file. Now as you move the mouse around, back and forth, up and down, the crosshairs move with it. When you move into the interface area up here, the crosshairs kind of stay where they're at and it turns into an arrowhead. And when I move the arrowhead along all these buttons, I can click them. 
Now this big red A looking thing up here at the top left of the screen, this is called the application menu. Think of it as like a file button in a pull down menus that a lot of software has or used to have. The application button is where you go to open up files, close them, save them, print them, along with some other options. So you can see that little black arrow there in it. That means that if you click on that object, just as in the case here or here, then if I click on it, it will pop up another menu. And this is where you can get to a lot of the different functions inside AutoCAD. So right next to our application menu, or the big red A, as I like to call it, you have the quick access toolbar these tools right here. A lot of these tools you'll find here, but they're very simple and just the new, open, save, save as, and print. You also have undo and redo. So there are just a few tools that you're going to need to get to often and quickly. This toolbar is also very easy to customize. We'll take a look at that later on. So your main interface tool is the drawing area because that's where your drawing takes place. But the main tool for entering commands is the ribbon. That's this guy right up here. The ribbon is a tabbed area and you can see here's a home tab, insert tab, annotate tab, and so on. Every time you click on one of these tabs, it brings up new sets of what are called panels. And each of these, like in the home tab, has several panels. This one has the draw panel, modify, annotation, layers, and etc. Switching tabs will activate different panels. And when you're in a different panel, you can click on the command icons to execute them. Everything you're going to need will be found up here. Now another way to execute commands in AutoCAD is through what's called the command line. It's found here at the bottom of the screen. That's this guy right here. You can directly input commands right into it by typing them on the command line. So you can click inside here and then start typing in a command, like the line command. Press enter, and now I can draw lines. Also, I can just start typing. I don't necessarily have to put it down in here, and what's going to happen is one of two things. Right now I have on what's called dynamic input, and that means I'm inputting dynamically while I'm working right at my cursor. Now this sort of emulates a smaller, more condensed version of the command line. And you see I can start drawing lines right away. We're going to talk more about the ribbon, the command line, the dynamic input, and all these other items that you're going to use. Now if you've used AutoCAD prior to release 2009, the ribbon is going to be something new to you. Now one thing we can do in AutoCAD is switch our workspace environments. And we can switch them very simply. If we come down here to the status bar, that's on the bottom right hand side here. If we click on this little gear, and then we have three different workspaces, the drafting and annotation, that's your standard 2D drawing and annotation type of environment. Then we have two 3D modeling environments, a 3D basics and a 3D modeling. If you click one of those, it will change the user interface of AutoCAD so that you now have these different types of tools. So right here we have a lot of 3D modeling tools. Now we're not gonna get into those too much inside this video, so we're just going to be staying in the drafting and annotation workspace environment. Now a lot of other things you're going to see here are called palettes. There are many different types of palettes. Some of them are the layer properties palette, tool palettes, the properties palette, design center, and the one I just closed called design feed. Again, we're going to cover these topics in greater detail later on, but we will use them. And in fact, the command line itself is a palette. Palettes, you can click them, move them around, stretch them, make them wider, taller, thinner, auto collapse them, hide them. You can do a lot of different things, but they will provide to you a lot of different tools that we're going to refer to throughout this training video.